Yo, what is up everyone? This is Stat3199 here with a brand new video on the Vector 10 class, Vector K10. Now this class is brilliant, I had a lot of fun using this. It's easy to get a good KD with and uh, yeah, friendly to pretty much anyone that uses it. Uh, this is a full gameplay from the map on Studio, from the new DLC Uprising. And yeah, this, uh, this is a really easy gun to use, as you can see. I run the silencer on it. But because I'm playing alone, I also ran Ghost. I wanted to be invisible and just, yeah, annoy people. I didn't expect to do as well as I did. So with this class on it, I've got, as my first perks, I've got Ghost and Lightweight, so I can get around the map. The second perk I have is Scavenger, though, because with all SMGs, you run out of ammo too quickly, and I just needed, I just rely on picking up ammo constantly. The third perk is Dexterity, just in case someone comes out and uh, I'm not ready, I can aim down the site quickly, it's always good to have. And as you can see, the EMP grenades I throw, I always take them with me on every, pretty much every map, no matter what I'm playing. I get a lot of assists, and you get a lot of XP from the assists, and it counts a lot. I think in, the, I think in this, I throw about three that both get double, uh, double assists with EMP assists. And that's that's a kill right there that you don't have to get now. So yeah, they do help. They do get a lot of score for you. And obviously I take the uh, C4 as well because that is just the most overpowered lethal in the game. The attachments I've got on my Vector are the Silencer and Fast Mag. Just to be quiet and if I need to reload, at least I can reload fast. I recommend trying to use this gun if you... If you don't really like the SMGs, uh, this is probably easier to use than the PDW. I think I think it's a lot easier to get a better KD on this one. The kill streaks I run are obviously Sentry Gun, as you can see, and then I run the v Orbital Visa, which is the the SR71 Blackbird from the last game on the Modern War on Modern Warfare 3. And yeah, that's a great one, because once you get that, then it's pretty much easy to get your load star, dogs, anything you've got after that if you want it. I don't usually run high kill streaks, so usually I only run UAV, counter, and VSAT when I'm playing in a team, but yeah, I just wanted to show you what this gun class can do when you use it. If you're quick on the trigger and you, you're very good at aiming down the sight, then I recommend taking off the silencer if you're good at out shooting your opponents and maybe putting on the long barrel to get a bit of distance on it or just anything, stock, adjustable stock is also good with this because you can move faster whilst you can strafe while aiming down the sight just helps it a bit more, it depends what kind of player you are I just like the silencer just because I'm playing alone and yeah I end up being invisible most of the game I did go quite good using this class on other games as well, but Studio in particular I seem to always do well on. This guy got lucky because I ran out of ammo, and he gets a quick shot off me. Uh, but yeah, this this map in particular, Studio, it's got to be my favourite map of all. Every time it comes up, I can play this map six times in a row and still love it. I go good on it nearly every time, it's a friendly map, and yeah... I get, I get a lot of feeds on it and it's just a lot easier to play rather than the other maps even you do get the occasional people camping and the occasional people camping with a LMG up in one of the windows or in the castle which can be quite annoying but when you play it more and more you find all these little ways to get past them and uh, I mean like some games when I just want to annoy people I'll go up in the in the tower and I can stay there the entire game if you put flat jacket on. Flat jacket and a trophy system and you can stay up there the entire game providing you can shoot people as they climb up as well. Yeah, you can get some ridiculous KDs on this map. It's very, very easy to run around as long as you can turn quickly. If you've got high sensitivity, you're going to find it a lot easier going around corners. But eventually someone in the corner will no doubt will get you like they do to me most of the time. Uh, every game I get in, there's always someone camping somewhere. The EMP grenade there goes off. I get an assist. I get an EMP assist. That's a kill right there towards my kill streak. It's a ridiculous uh, non-lethal for the score streak. So, yeah, 
definitely give him a try if you've not already. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Hope it can hope it worked well for you. Hope you can use the class. Let us know how it goes. If you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe. I'll be putting up more as soon as I get the chance. Yeah, yeah.